and generating some leads and I, I got the automated sequence kind of put together, you know, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, just had a couple questions about that, man. Um, I'm Heck trying yeah. to get, you know, I'm trying to get everything automated to where, like, I don't know if you use a CRM on top of Kartra or no. do you kind of, I, I just use I just use Kartra. Like I just use it's not really a CRM, but at the mm -hmm. same time it, it kind of is. I mean it houses all my leads and it automates all the emails. So I just use that. But I know in real estate you guys have some very complex CRMs and some badass ones. Yeah. So you probably have a, a really good one as well. I'm not using anything right now, to be honest with you, man. Oh, like I, I just good. I straight up just use like I have Mojo Dialer, so I kind of just use that. Mm -hmm. and um mojo kind of houses like all of my leads and you know i kind of put everything on a calendar but mm -hmm. like if i want to email somebody like automated you know mojo doesn't do that i have to go in and do it you know manually so like i mm -hmm. also use bomb bomb and mm -hmm. like i have mm -hmm. automated emails in bomb bomb but like mm -hmm. Kartra does that right now like yeah you know it's doing the automated emails for me but i want to be able to like have a sense of you know like who has a higher score, for instance, like if someone's opening my emails, like, is there a way to rate them? Like they get half a star for opening my email. They get another star for clicking like on a link. Is there any way to rate the people that are like in my automations? Let me walk you through it. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's, if it's an exact rating, but at the same time you can track all that. So do you want to share your screen? Let me yeah, um, uh, let me log into Kartra real quick, and then um, yeah, go ahead and, and share your screen, and I'll walk you through it. But um, yeah, just the analytics alone, just the basics as far as seeing who opened your email, seeing who clicked on your email, as far as what's in the email, you know, it tracks who clicks um, on clicks on what's in the email, and then also tracks who unsubscribes. So if you just hover over my communications on the top left and then um, click on analytics. Actually, you're going to click on, um, yeah, you can click on my communications and then hover over analytics and you can see leads. You can see lists, broadcast sequences. So if you just, I mean, if you just go to leads, you can just, um, what you'll be able to do is just open up the actual lead. Oh, you so, mean over here? Yeah, so the last 30 days. Oh, over here, leads? Yeah. So gotcha. these are your total leads right here. And then the red dot, that would be a red dot if someone unsubscribes or if someone – I think this red dot is there because it's not attached to a list sequence or tag. So hover over that red dot, Holly. Not subscribed. Yeah, see, so you'll see a red dot when they're not subscribed to anything, to a list, to a sequence, or a tag, or you'll see a red dot if they've unsubscribed. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, that's my uh, first time seeing that. Oh yeah. yeah I, sure. I haven't seen the red dot yet, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So and then and then you can click on each one, click on the name, and then you can go deeper into it. So you can see um like list. You can you can see their profile first of all. So you can you can hook up the profile however you need to, their address, phone number, all that can be done right there in the profile. And then if you help, if you click on list, you can just see, you know, a snapshot of, of what list they're on. Um and then the communications, you can click on that, and that just shows which which email has gone out. Okay. Um, and then the sequences, if it if they're in a sequence, it'll show you which email within that sequence they're on. And then right here, you can also pause them from that sequence. Like if for whatever reason, I don't normally pause because I'll have automation set up. Uh -huh. So so one reason why you would pause right here, for example is if that person if that person opts into a landing page of a listing and that lead happens to buy that property but they're on a list they're also on a sequence and over the next 10 days they're going to receive an email regarding that listing but they're already un uh, under contract and we're on day 4 you can come in here and you can pause so they don't get any more future emails as far as the sequence because, okay you know you have 10 emails in there and they're only on email number four but they're now under contract with that property you could pause it right there right that makes sense yeah so and then memberships you won't really need memberships that's for people that are in any of your online courses okay so you won't really need that and then calendars click on calendars 
Yes. Yeah, so no entries found. So this right here would show if they if they opted into a calendar or if they scheduled an appointment through a, an actual calendar. Um, transactions. You won't really need transactions. That's for if you're selling. Okay. Stuff. Um, so it'll show you right here what they bought and the price point that they bought it in. But what I normally check a lot here is the log. So I'll click on log and I can see what emails have gone out. Um, so if they're on a if they're on if they're in a sequence. It'll show if they opened the email, if they clicked on the email. Um, it'll show which email went out. So I can that that's as but as kind of as much as as you really want to need to know. I mean, as far as just the analytics of an overall lead. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't know what else, what else would you need to track on on uh, your end. Just kind of. Off, off the topic for a second. Can I, are, are you able to see like their Facebook and Twitter, Instagram and all that stuff up here? Not really. Yeah, yeah, you sure can. If you, if you've asked for that in the form. Uh, okay. I got so you. When they opt in, if you're asking for that, which, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but a lot of people, a lot of people, man, they won't even, they, they won't even know their link or they won't even put in the right, the right link. Um, gotcha. So like, like, is there, is there a way for the form to be like continue with Facebook or continue with Gmail and then they can just click on like either option and it'll just take them directly in? They'll, they'll log into Facebook or they'll log into, they would have to be logging into some type of account in order for you, in order for them to be able to use Facebook to log in or, or Google to log in. So they would actually, ha they would have to manually enter it in. Like if they were on Facebook and they saw my ad and they clicked mm -hmm. on learn more and then it said to continue, please, you know, click one of these Facebook or Google. If they clicked on Facebook, it would, it wouldn't just automatically push them forward. They would actually have to manually type in their email and password. Well, here's the way it really works. If they, if you're running an ad and they click learn more and it takes them to a, a Facebook login, uh -huh. The specific ad and the only ad for that to happen is messages. So when you're in the Facebook dashboard oh. and you click on the green button, right now what I taught you to do was run conversions. Conversions, yeah. That's to capture leads. But right, if we're right. not capturing leads that way and, 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 and we don't have a landing page to capture the lead, then we can use messages. So right there in step one, the objectives, you just click on messages and that right there provides the Facebook form for them to continue with messenger gotcha. so they click on learn more and then boom right away facebook takes them straight to messenger where they have to continue and log in if they're not already and then now you just start the communication and start the flow through facebook messenger gotcha that's a message ad yeah okay. okay yeah so in this case it's just simply clicking learn more going to a landing page putting your name and number and boom you're on my list that's right. that's pretty much it um and, and what, if, if anything else, if you want to integrate or if you want them to jump to another list or another CRM or, or whatever, whatever you could be thinking, that could be good to put in the welcome email. So the moment they opt in, they receive an email right away with instructions or with a link to click on whatever. So if you want that to also, if you want that lead to also connect with you on Facebook, you could easily, easily, easily put that in the first email. You could put that in the first email or you could put that on the thank you page. So they come to your listing landing page, they opt in, they go to a thank you page and on that thank you page, it's saying, hey, thank you so much for inquiring on this property. To get full details and to connect with me on Facebook, click this button below. And when they click on that button, it takes them straight to your Facebook Messenger where they have to continue with Facebook. And they'll click, they'll log in, which they'll probably already be logged in. And then boom, now you'll have that conversation on Facebook Messenger. Gotcha. And that was by running a conversion ad. Mm -hmm. So I can either get you on Facebook through the thank you page, or I can get you on Facebook through the welcome email. Or through gotcha. any email. But, it, but the welcome email is that first one that goes out right away. Right. You know, hey, Dave, thank you so much for inquiring. Thank you for so much, you know, for, 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 you know, taking an interest in this property. I'd love to connect with you on Facebook. Click here and boom, that's a simple email. I click now we're on Facebook messenger. Now I can message you in real time on, on Facebook. Gotcha. So that, that link is just connected to a Facebook messenger pretty much. Yeah. I'll show you where that link, I'll show you where to get that link. And all you do is you just tie that link to a button. Right. Okay. So that button is on. And that's why what I, what I kind of taught you in the beginning was 
the landing page, and then uh, and then on the thank you page is a button to your calendar. Right. That button can link to your Facebook Messenger. Gotcha. And yeah, so, that, and, that would and, be awesome. Yeah, dude. You know, I can show you that. Yeah, so pull up your Facebook or I'll, or whatever okay. or whatever I'll show you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, go to your business page and click on about. And you'll see about on the on the left hand side. Okay, cool. So right here, this is your link for Facebook messaging. It's that one right there. It's m.me forward slash. So that link right there. Oh, if down you, here. Yeah, so watch, click on it. I don't know if it'll, if it'll show you anything right now. But yeah, it just opens up that. But if someone clicks on it, like watch, send it to me. Send it, yeah, copy it and just, and just um, why don't you... Um, Well, let's see if you if, if you Facebook message it. If you, It'll, let, let me see what it will look like if you Facebook message it to me. But what I'm teaching is teaching you to do is just to put it in, in an actual button on a page. Oh, yeah. You want to go back here and do that? But no, but no, I want you to message it to me just so I can I can show you what happens if I click or when I click on it. Okay. You want to message it to uh, Facebook yeah, see, or email? Yeah, see, see, if it, see what happens if we message it through Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, because I got your email pulled up too. So let me see, David. Yeah, we'll do we'll do both. But let me um, let me sh let me show you on my end. Let me know if you can. Yeah, send it to me, and then let me see if you, yeah. So so come back to my screen. Oh, you mean? So can you see my screen? Oh, let me see. Yeah. So just stop share. Stop share. Okay. I okay. Can see your so. Screen. I haven't clicked on it yet, but here's what happens when I click on it. Now I'm already logged into Facebook, so mm -hmm. it might just take me straight there. But when you're when you're clicking on this link from outside of Facebook, that's what I'm kind of teaching you how to do. So if it's outside, okay. if it's on a landing page, and and that button says click here to connect with me on Facebook, it's connecting to that link, and that's when you see a whole different page. But let's see what happens when I'm already logged in. I click on it. Bam! Perfect. So this is what this is this is the page that that person would go to. So they they opt in on a listing or an open house or whatever. They come to a thank you page. You're telling them connect with me on Facebook, and boom, they click on continue as David, and now 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 you have that live that live conversation. Gotcha. Okay. Which, which is awesome. super powerful, man. Super super powerful. Yeah, for sure. Super powerful because not only do you have the lead now, and now they're on your email list and receiving emails, but now right away you're connected with them instantly on facebook messenger right yep okay so so that's that's your link and all you'll do is just take that link and and just tie it the same way you tied your your any other button like the button on the landing page you know the button on the thank you page or or any link in an email that's right. the link you would link okay two button and email it's okay perfect man hell yeah that's awesome yeah that's really really cool that's really really cool so um that's how you would do that Okay, so perfect, man. share your screen. Yeah. What else you got? Uh, let me go back here. Also, man. So like whenever a lead comes in or like somebody, you know, opts in, um, should I begin an email? Like, cause right now oh, I don't yeah. know. Heck I don't yeah. know when a lead comes in. I just have to go into Kartra and then oh, go to man, Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, bro. You get a, you get a freaking instant notification. Yeah, how do we let's do that? Check your, um, let's check your notifications real quick. So X out of this and just click on your profile picture at the top and then go down to um, email notifications. And then what we're going to click on is you got, you're in to your leads and then you got to your affiliates and then click on to your team right there at the top, to your, to your team up. Oh, right here. Yeah, right there. Bam. Okay, so these are the emails that you can receive the notifications. So new affiliate, go ahead and shade that one. I'll, I'll show you which ones to shade out. Yeah. Shade out that one calendar. You can leave that one calendar. Um, you can leave that one calendar. Um, go ahead and, and, and shade that gray to blue, the bottom one. Um, that calendar subscription confirmation vendor, you might as well just shade that one. 
This one. No, up. Two up. That one. The the shaded gray, shade it to blue. The calendar, yeah, that one. And then this one, the next one, go ahead and shade that. All the calendar ones you want to kind of be notified. And then subscription, okay, comment pending. Go ahead and shade out the comment pending. See, so bam, this is the reason why you're not getting them right here. It's shaded gray. Lead fills in an opt-in form. Uh, and you have yeah. a shaded gray. Gotcha. So um, that's kind of the only one you need. You don't need to be notified on what list unless you want to. But when you get that email, right when a person fills out an opt-in form, that notification email says what list they're opting into. So you don't need another notification. Right. So that, that lead subscribes to a list, leave that gray. Okay. Lead subscribes to a membership, leave that gray. Lead subscribes to a sequence, you don't need that. Um, membership, okay, so new shipping, you can shade the new shipping, shade that gray. Help desk, you can leave that on. And then the rebill, the refund, the refund, you can shade all those gray. Perfect. And then those last two shade those gray too. So go ahead and, um, and test it. Go ahead and fill out a form <clears throat> and then, and then check your email for the notification. Okay. Do I got to save this somewhere or no, just... it's already saved. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's already saved. Um, so just go to any, <clears throat> you can go to my pages and just pull up any, any page. And oh, just go to my page. Gotcha. Perfect. So that lead will get a notification. Um, actually, the, the lead only gets a notification if you have the if you have it set up where the where the form where the email goes out. So, in my forms to the left, that's where whatever opt-in form is tied to that page. If mm -hmm. you have it set up right here, where that welcome email goes out, that's the email they'll get. Or if you have that first email to go out set up through sequences so that the lead will get whatever first email you have set up yeah so for that one that i just did i have a thank you page that it that comes in from like i think from the form you have a welcome email like a it's a yeah thank so once, email? yeah the thank you email yeah 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 perfect so that can either go out instantly through the form or it can go out instantly through the sequence gotcha so um yeah, so that's that's I'm just saying that that's the notification that the lead would get, and then you okay. would just get a notification that someone fills out a form. So yeah, fill, fill gotcha. it out real quick and and check your email. Yeah, so I did get, so I oh, filled it out. out already. Oh yeah, yeah. So over here. Gotcha. Okay. This is where I filled it out. So like I just got the email. Like if I was a like a prospect or something, if I was the lead, like I just received that email. Like thank you for questing your home your your new home value. So I got that, but I don't have a notification yet. Uh, let me check my other email real quick. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep. Yeah. Cool man. Yeah. So it says a lead has filled in an opt-in form. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. So so make sure that that lead that email that the lead got, obviously you know make sure that that's the one you want out. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that um, cool. I want to okay. go. Okay. And then let, let me. I might as well show you this real quick because. This is kind of, um, I mean, it's not important, but it's just kind of, there's just two different ways where that first email, because I truly believe that first email is the most important. Like the moment someone opts in, that first email, you want them opening it. Like you want them opening it. And so there's two ways that you can send it out. You can send it out through my form. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can send it out through my sequences. Gotcha. So my form is just as you go through and edit, you can, you'll, you'll see that, that welcome email. And then the sequence is, is where you set it up where that first email goes out instantly. Right. Okay. In the sequence. So every list should have a sequence, man. Like every list. Yeah. So like right now I'm just doing a seller guide, which I, th I think I have like maybe six emails in that. Good, sequence. man. Good, good. Um, okay. But like in, in the first, like the first email that goes out, I do want to connect, you know, I, I do want to put the button in where it says like connect with me on Facebook. Perfect. Let's do that. But, um, shoot, where do I go to see if that first email sent through a form? You can just open it up right here. You can open it up right here and check. This one. All yeah. right. So just go to edit. Edit. Yeah. Uh, edit. Dun, 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 dun.
And then right here, oh, yeah, hit save on that, the green one. And then the welcome would be the next one. Okay, so it's going out through here. Okay. Which is, which is fine. So hit change. <laughs> and then this is, this is the first one. So check your email shortly for your home valuation. So you can add a button here. That'd be, that'd be one place to add it. Or you can add it on the thank you page. Which is, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Which got is you. that call confirm. So at the top, that call confirm page. This one. You can, you can easily add it right there as well. Okay. I would add it both. I mean, yeah, add it, add it to both. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. Yeah, thank okay. you. Your home valuation request has been received. Be sure to check your email shortly. And, and, and I, would, I would say something like, and for a fast response or for more details or for more or for more or for even more information, connect with me on Facebook by clicking here or something like that. Like you can, you can word right. it some, something like that where, yeah, where now there's a button right there and they click and boom, it opens up that messenger. Right. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So then I can just add a button to the thank you page and then add a button to the, to this email. Yeah. To that email. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. cool, man. I can do that. Yeah, dude, um, for sure. Let me see. And then are you saving these templates so you can just reuse them every time you send out an email? I am. Yeah, but I'm okay. actually I'm going to go in here and kind of like mess with it try to to make it a little more presentable, man. Like I kind of okay. just did it yeah, like yeah. a couple of weeks ago to try to to try to get the you know, the pages going, but yeah, mm -hmm. I need to go back in here and kind of jazz it up a little. What what I do a lot as well in my emails, in the email, the body of the email and also on the subject line is I use their first name a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, hijack, perfect, like right there. And then I'll put that in the email as well somewhere. Gotcha. Just okay. always calling them out by their first name. Right. Yeah, man. So that's cool. Yeah, that's. Or you can even call them out by their last name too. You can always put Mr. or Mrs. But actually, you know what? No, because you're not going to, the system's not going to know if it's a man or, or a woman. So you, you couldn't really put Mr. And because in the dynamic variables, you can put last name. So but I, you wouldn't be able to put no who's who. Like you'll put Mister, and then you'll copy the variable, and it'll be last name. But it might be a female lead. You know what I mean? So that might uh -huh. be last name. Might not be. What gotcha. you want to do? Okay. Well, then I might keep it like that. And then as far as like the information that I'm gathering, um, you know, just the first name and email. Um, I was thinking about maybe adding in phone number, but do you, I mean, what do you recommend? Do you think just first name and email is good for now? required yes and then phone number would could be easily optional optional okay which yeah I, so you I can think set up through the form where it's just it's just optional gotcha and you'll just check a box required or not required and that's so in you, the form field yeah so go back back and then let's change this right here so hit change and then um you can simply add new field just hit the new field just like you did with those ones over here, yeah. And then, and then you could put phone number, and then we'll just put. Um, see, it could either be mandatory or or not. So I would just leave it not. Um, where do you see that? You see right there, mandatory. That little button to the right, the gray. It's shaded gray. Oh, over here. Yeah, mandatory or not mandatory. So, okay, so just leave it gray so that it's optional. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would do for sure. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right, and, and then, then um, and then the select select country code below. Perfect, and then you can save. Okay, cool. Yeah, that way I can okay. see if I can get some numbers. And what what I would do also, it's it's totally up to you, but in this case with this form, this is for what for a um for a for a evaluation, right? Right. Okay, so just to make it easy for the customer, for the consumer address. Yeah, I need, I need the address, but, and, and the only, and, and I'm only saying this because from a consumer perspective and from a marketing perspective, you want to make it stupid easy for them to fill out the damn form. Mm -hmm. So the more information obviously is, is a little bit more challenging, but if I can dumb it down and, and shorten it up, it'd be even a little better. So all you need is the address and the zip code. You don't need city. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause right? I can, you can right. pull that up. Right. Right. Like zip code. So I would, I would take out city and then just address and, and zip code. 
address of code. And that one little tweak, it makes a di- it does make a difference. It does make yeah, a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Instead of having to enter in so many fields, you know what I mean? Yes, exactly. Maybe, maybe they're more likely to enter in um, mm-hmm. a phone number. So yeah, yeah, for sure. So okay. address, zip code, and boom, hit save. Bam, perfect. And then, yeah, then you got to go through, save and next, save and next, save and next. And then also right here, oh, sorry. go back. You got you want to subscribe them to a list. So do you have a list set up for that? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so even if you don't, you can set one up right here. So hit change, subscribe to list, change. Uh, this one. Yeah. And then yes, subscribe to a list. And then hit the drop down, see if you have one. It's going to be the seller guy. Oh, actually... This is for oh, you the valuation. Know, oh yeah, you what's know your, I, what's my home worth? Yeah, I don't have a um, I don't have an automation or sequence list for the what's my home worth one. Yeah, the sequence is fine, but this is the list. So when they opt in, uh-huh. they need to land on a list. List. Uh, yeah, it would be what's my home worth. Yeah, perfect. So that's the one. Now they don't need to. They don't need to, right? They don't. They can opt in and not be on any list. Right. But but we we for sure need them on the list. You know what right. I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. That makes so sense. hit add. Hit the blue one. And then now, now they're on that list. Perfect. Okay. And then just hit save the green one. Gotcha. And then, and then right here, it says subscribe to a sequence, but I don't do it right here. I do it inside of the sequences. Gotcha. So when you hit on my communications and you go to the actual sequences, that's where I would, I would connect, I would connect it. So I don't do it right here. Okay. So for example, in the sequences, the starting rule, watch, I'll, I'll show you how to do that part. Okay, so go to... So let, yeah, so let's go to My Communications. My Communications. And then, and then hover over Communications and go to Sequences. Okay, so, so let, we can just open up anyone. But open up Edit, yeah, do the Seller, seller Guide, yeah. But this is how you, would, how you would do it. So rather than connecting them to a sequence in the form, I just connect them to the sequence here. And okay. so... The way I do it, or the way anyone would do it, the way you would do it is you would, it would start with the starting rule. So that starting rule, hover over that starting rule, and I would just make the starting rule anyone who opts into this form. So in this case, that's how you set it up here. Hit edit. That's exactly how you did it here. The starting rule is anyone who fills out that form. Gotcha. Now they're in the sequence. Mm-hmm. So I just do it there. That, that's how I, how I set it up. Gotcha. Okay. Versus doing it the other way. Yeah. Right. Versus doing it through the form. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. I'll have to do something for the, what's my home worth one right now. Like I just have this one running on Facebook ads, but I have the, what's my home worth in my automated emails. Mm-hmm. So like there's a little button on there. If they click it, it takes them to like a cart or landing page. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Cool, man. And so yeah. even like, so as I was mentioning earlier, either you can set up the welcome email through my form or you can set the welcome email email up through here. So when I do it through here, that one day would be immediately. So the starting rule is anyone who fills out this form immediately send out email number one. Right. Okay. That's all I would do. So you have it set for one day, three day. That first one would just be immediately. Yeah. I think this one is technically the second email. Yeah, that's the second one because they get the welcome email and then mm-hmm. they get this one. Right. Yeah, the welcome email goes out right away. So you yeah. just have you have your welcome email set up through here and not the form. Yeah, so in my form, in the welcome email, I have it turned off. Gotcha. So over here, I just have every – that way it allows me to control – and not really control, but it allows me to look at every single email that's that, that, that goes out from the beginning to the end. Like – I, yeah. I look at all my emails here rather than having to look at that email in the welcome yeah, and then now man. coming over here to look at email number two and on. Yeah. 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 That, I mean, I would, yeah, I would like that versus the way that I have it set up now. So is there a way for me to get that off my form and over here? Yeah, for sure. You can easily do that. You can, um, you can um, simply X out of this line right here. This um, the line that's connected to the starting rules to email to, to yeah, that this line one. Oh, yeah. X that one out. Okay. And then um, drag it down the second, the email number two, drag it down just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And then send email to the left, drag it and park it right, right in between. Perfect. Right there. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to have to, um, 
You know what? Cancel this real quick. Let me let me have you do something real quick. Um, actually, you can't do it from here. But what I always do is I always keep up multiple tabs. So, for example, in this case, we're in my communications. What I'll also have up is my pages. Gotcha. So because I can up like a Kartra. Yeah, I don't know if you can if you can log back in. I don't know if it's going to throw you off. If it, it'll take me out of this one. Yeah. So like look, if- here, do this real quick. Hit done and exit. Hit the green one. So now we're in my communication. So what I want you to do is just um, hover over my forms. Hover over it. Don't click it. Hover over it. Just right click and then open a new tab. Gotcha. I'll do my forms and then I'll even do my pages. So hover over my pages just for the heck of it and, and open link in new tab. Gotcha. Because as I'm creating emails, yeah, the form, in this case, we're going to have to refer back to the form. And then, and then as I'm creating emails, there's links to pages that I may want people to click on. So now I have open my tab for my pages and I can just go back and forth without having to click back. Right. Okay. Right? So, yeah. so now let's go back to the first tab. And then let's, let's open up, let's edit. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to simply um, open up that first email that dragged the one that we dragged. And okay. then we're going to, we're going to open up the tab for my forms and just, um, well, that, yeah. So yeah, let's bring it back over. And that's only if you had like this, in this case, it's if, if it's, if that welcome email, you can go Yeah. Right after previous step. Perfect. Hit next. Okay. Hit next. And then, and then the broadcast name could be email number one or whatever, or welcome email or whatever. Perfect. And then um, it's coming from that email, Chris Garcia at Remax. Uh-huh. Next. And, the, and, and then send if, hit the se- select go the, um, to the left. Hit anyone, anyone reaching this step. And then hit add. And then next, the green one, and then single email. And then now we, and then next, and this is where we create. So the reason why I had you open up multiple tabs is just, so now let's go to the form. This, yeah, that tab. So let's open up this. So it it was kind of only, it would have really saved us a ton of time if you had a huge, if that email was, you know, a very extensive, you know, email. Gotcha. But in this case, it's really just one line and an image. Right. But at least you'll be able to, you know, copy it. What I wanted you to do was copy it out of that and then put it over over paste there. It. I got you. Yeah, but it's really not a lot that you'll paste. But go ahead and open it up here. And then, and then, if anything, you can just obviously just duplicate it again since it's not a lot of text. And then you just turn it off right here. So hit turn save on. and next. Okay. And then save and next. So that welcome. So you can change, hit change, and then right here you easily just shut it off. So actually it'd be the top one, but right here, you'll just copy. So whatever the heck you have, high, high first name, 10 tips. And then, and then this stuff right here. Um, but see, th- yeah, yeah. And that sequence is a seller guide one, right? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. And, and what you can do here, here, no, let me save you a ton of time. What you can do is just copy that or, or not copy it, but save it. Scroll down, save as template. Bam, save as template. And then you'll just use it for the sequence and then you can just delete it. Gotcha. Okay. So we'll save it here. So boom, now we got it saved, hit um, at the top, hit save. And then above that, the change, sending a welcome, hit that and then turn that off. So don't send any. Perfect. Bam. So now that's off. So save and next. Subscribe into that list. Perfect. So save and next. Save and next. Now let's go to the sequence. And now what we're going to do is hit, hit, let's X out of this. We might have to, we might have to, yeah, we might have to start over because now it's reading, now it should be reading the fact that you saved that template. Gotcha. So if you, it, yeah, I don't think it would have pulled it if we just tried it right then and there. So right after previous step, perfect. Next, next, um, email number one, welcome or whatever you had. Yeah, perfect right there. Next, and then the gateway's fine. Next, and then recipients, anyone reaching this step, add and then um yeah and then next and then one single email perfect and then now it should read it that we saved it so now hit um hit the advanced and then go to design templates and then see if it's in my templates uh 
Um, shoot. Damn it, did it not save that one? Yeah, I don't see it because it had that photo. Wait, yeah, it had that. It it had, no, it did. It had a few buttons. Oh, that's what it was. It had the seller guide intro. Okay, so it we we have to we have to hit the green one. So we'd have to we'd have to do it again. Let's get out of this real quick, but it'll be fast. So, you know, to... don't close anything, but just get out of this part. Oh, just exit out. Yeah, yeah, exit out of this, and then hit done and done and done and exit. We got to go back in. So let's go back in. So hit edit. So now now it'll read it. Oh, I got you. You just had to get all the way out. Yeah. Okay, right cool. So here. previous step. Uh, anytime. My little daughter wants to learn landing pages too. <laughs> Crazy. Mama, you ready to work? All right. <laughs> I'm going to put you to work. How old is she? She's she's gonna be two in August. Oh man! And I have a, what what's even what's even crazier is I have a little boy coming in a few hours, dude. Oh man, dude! Congrats, dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah. man. Thanks, bro. My wife is um, well, she's yeah. I think we're like at thirty nine weeks, but the baby's already like big. Like he's already like almost ten pounds. So they're gonna indu induce Damn, her labor today. Ten pounds. That's that's huge, man. Right? It is, dude. It's like I think he's a little under ten. Man, that's nuts, dude. Congrats, man. Yeah, bro. Thanks. That's awesome, man. man. Having a boy. Yes, having a boy, dude. And no more. We're done. <laughs> yeah, two's we're enough. Done. Two's enough, man. Actually, this is gonna be three. This is two with my wife now, and then I have a twelve-year-old son with my previous. Ah, uh, gotcha. So this is this is this is our our third. Yeah, dude. But yeah, done. Nice, done. So burp. So that's it right there, right? We had to we had to log out, and then come yeah, back. and now and now it's in there. I think I have that. And that title, that subject line, should have came over too. Are you just rewording it? Uh, no, it didn't come over for some reason. Like it was just blank here, so really? I just, so just yeah, I had a, a uh, it was just a template. Gotcha. But yeah, man, I think okay. this is perfect, dude. Perfect. Okay, so then I can just save this. Yeah. So hit the green one next, and and then you can always send a test email as well. Um, oh, from the. Yeah, so hit hit the back. Just hit send send a test just for the heck of it. So at the very bottom, send test email. Okay, cool. So up, hit the next, the green one. And then create. Perfect. So now what you're going to do is you're going to hit those three dots and just activate. Perfect. And then you're going to just connect it top to bottom and then the bottom to the next one. Bam. There you go, man. Nice. So that goes out immediately. The next one goes a day later and then so on and so on and so on. Okay. And in the, in these emails, what I would do, and, and I'm pretty, I don't know if you're doing this, you probably are, but if you're not, these emails should touch on that seller guide. Yeah, like I, I did try to do that. Like, um, you know, I kind of just took a little piece of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and entered it into this email. Like one of the one of the actions was like curb appeal. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of touched on like what curb appeal. I just kind of took what it said about the curb appeal and put it in mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. and then like home repairs, marketing secrets. Um, I, took awesome. a, I just took a little bit of, of, of what was in the seller's guide and then kind of just kind of incorporated to the emails if that, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like I just, I just like talking about that in the emails are, are always a good thing. And then, and then just having your calendar link in each email with, you know, specifically saying, Hey man, if you have any questions, I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to even, you know, give you some more tips and strategies click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, John. So there's, there's an actual call to action rather than just having a calendar link in my email signature or something. Right. 
I'm actually telling them, I'm saying, no, man, hey, click the freaking link, schedule the call. I, I want to talk to you. Let me give you some more tips and strategies. Let me, t- let me tell you how I, how I helped my last client sell it, you know, at, 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 highest, high, at the highest point possible. Let me, show you, let me show you how I did it. Click the link below. It takes you straight to my calendar. So that, that, that's the purpose of all these emails, dude, is to educate them on what they downloaded or educate them on what they opted in for, a listing, whatever. Whatever the heck you opted in for, that's what these emails are about. Short, brief, paragraph, or a few sentences on what the hell you opted in on. So always re- refer back to that. And then, and then the whole call to action is to click my calendar. Schedule a call. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely need to incorporate that you know, like a little more aggressive on having them click on my calendar. And then of course yeah. I want to uh, add in the whole connect with me on Facebook thing too. So yeah. Yeah. Can add that. And then, and then again, man, I would go, I know I, I, I hit this one over the head a million times with you and not everyone really, really is comfortable with the whole video thing. But yeah. what I would really do with the, with, if I were you bro, is I would, I would start implementing those videos in these emails. Oh, you mean, in like every one of these emails, like add in a video. Yes. Gotcha. And, and, and let me show you, let me show you an example, but this is just how you take it up the next to the next level, man. It's your personal branding. It's, it's visually seeing you. That's going to separate you from anything else from anyone else. And from, from anything else. Now, if we're not showing our face in video on the actual ad, then if I can show you my video on the thank you page, that's, that's good. That's just as good. And if I can show you my face in video via email, that person's going to really, really gravitate to you, man. Right. Okay. That, that's how you just take it up a few notches is, is, is video. So in each email, that's kind of, that's what I have set up in different campaigns that I have set up, uh-huh. but, but let me show you how, 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 how it is. Let me, let me kind of just show you. Okay. This will give you a, a good example. So do you want me to stop sharing my screen so I can see your screen or, um, yeah, you can, you can do that. And, and to, to, to do this, it's like a, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more, it's not more work at all, but, but it's just another page. So, so for example, and this, this can be, can you see my screen? Mm-hmm. Okay. This can be when I'm sending out sequences so I can have all this set up you know, preset in a sequence, or this can be when I simply have a one-off email that I want to send to my list and that's broadcast. Broadcast. Gotcha. So the way I do it is I'll simply do it with a video. So I'll use an actual video. And the way I do it is I add that video onto a page. So for example, this is a video um, that I sent out yesterday to a bunch of real estate agents um, because solar, I don't know how, are you starting to see panels go up in, in your area? I guess solar, uh, like, no, kind of take really. it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Texas is, is being lit up right now, bro. Like there's panels. You're going to have that whole state with a panel on their roof. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously. And so, and so I partnered with a company, I partnered with a solar company and, and our whole approach is, is to start helping real estate agents earn an extra income by simply referring solar. So but my point is, is that this was an email that I sent out. So let me show you, let me show you the actual email. Um, if I go to my communications and I click on, it was an email that I sent out yesterday. So if I just go to broadcast, cause it was a one-off email, it wasn't part of my sequence. It was just a one-off email. And that was this one right here. So this, this was the actual email and it was the first name. I wrote out the text, wrote out the text, and then right here, I hyperlinked this. Click here to watch. And so when they click on it, they go to this one page. Okay. And this one page has, has a video, and it has the call to action. So the reason why I take them to this one page is because that's where I have to put my video. And, and that's number one. But number two, I'm able to Facebook pixel them. So now I'm able to, 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 to continue to create these custom audiences around everyone who is landing on my page. Yeah, gotcha. So even if they're just landing on your page and not doing anything else, you can still run a, like a retargeted ad to that yes, custom dude. audience. 
Yes, yeah. because I have this specific URL set up in Ads Manager as a custom audience. So anyone who lands on this link on this page gets put into a custom audience. And yeah, those, those, that audience is who I'll retarget to in the future. Gotcha, man. And like, when do you decide to do that? Like when, once it hits a certain number? No, you can actually, you can actually start running it whenever, like, 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 um, Oh, and they'll just be automatically put into that custom audience because they landed on your page. Yes. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. But, but all I'm saying is that here goes my text. Uh -huh. There goes a link. It takes them straight to a page where it's me on video. Right. That right there, bro, would separate you from everything. Like it yeah. would separate you from everything. So again, and if you're not going to. This is your thank you or your welcome email. It, it can be, it could be a welcome email. It could be a broadcast email, which is, Oh, this is your email. broadcast. That's right. It, it could be in my sequence. I actually have it set up in my sequences as well. Like, so for example, if you go to the social real estate agent.com, that's my book. So everything I'm teaching you here is what I wrote in a book for real estate agents. And so when a person goes and gets my, my book, they're now in my sequence. And in my sequence, I have five emails that are set up that, go out automatically in each email. I'm talking about what was in that book and it's just like this. It's set up text, 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 and then there's a link and then it takes them straight to a page where it's me on video covering what was in that book. Gotcha. And I break it up in five, in five simple emails because in that book I'm teaching five steps. Mm -hmm. So in, in each email, the email is going to look just like this. You're going to click on it. And in each email, it's me on video. Hey guys, let me show you what I'm talking about in chapter one, step one. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Mm, gotcha. And I'm telling you, bro, that right there is just because video, dude, that, that's right. when it's like, okay, shit, this, this is a real person. Right. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, that, that makes sense. So, so, so in your case, capturing leads for a seller guide, mm -hmm. it's like, dude, how easy and how powerful would it be for you to just simply go out to a property and just do a selfie style video and again, dude, that's not a video you're running an ad on, which I would, I would for sure highly recommend you to run an ad on it. But even if uh -huh. you're not running ads on videos, that video should be your email list should be seeing that video. Yeah. So, so that video would go, go into Kartra or you can upload it to YouTube. I, I upload a lot of videos to YouTube and then I just put the YouTube link on the page. So now they're just watching the video. It's a YouTube video, but they're just watching it from the page. But for you to just go out to a property and, 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 and give some tips, like maybe just go down the street, bro, and go freaking see a ghetto ass home and, and just yeah. selfie style. Hey guys, this is Chris. And, and this could be email number four. These are people that opted in for your seller guide. These are people that are looking for tips on how to help freaking how to increase the damn value of their property. If you went out on video, man, and gave tips on what you would do to a ran down house, there's ran and ran down houses all around you, right? Yeah. yeah. Like even if you live in a nice area, you still drive out. There's freaking the hood. Right. Yep. So it's like, go to a random ass house and just do a simple video, man, on what you would do to increase the value of that property. Little, little short videos, man. And those are videos that are in your emails. And once these leads start to get emails like that, where they're like opening it up and it's a freaking video with Chris on his cell phone down the street, like, dude, they, you win, you know, dude, that yeah. right there is a game changer, man. Yeah, man. And, and I'm telling you, yeah. no one's doing it, bro. No one's doing it. I talk to you guys all the time. No one's doing it. No one's <laughs> dude, doing it. I mean, yeah, man. I mean, dude, if I was to, to start including these videos and these emails, man. Dude, yeah, I mean. Checkmate. Dude, for sure. And, and, and this is just how you would do it. So the video doesn't go in the email. The video goes, it's hyperlinked to, to the text. Uh -huh. And it just, and then, and, they, and then it links them out to a Karcher page that your <laughs> Facebook pixel is tracking. Now, is it able to just show up in the page automatically? You can, like this? It, yeah, yeah, for sure. You can if you well. It first of all, yes, it has to go on a page. It's not going to show up automatically in the email. It, okay, so like if they opened so, up an email, the video cannot be like right here. No, no, not on any email provider. The email cannot. Uh, the video cannot be here. But I think with BombBomb it can, right? I think BombBomb is like the only one. I think so, man. I, I don't see yeah. no video bomb offs, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Bomb bomb where, where the video actually plays in the email, but I don't even know if it plays in the email, but it just like the way that your screenshot looked on your, your other tab, 
-hmm. it would just kind of show up there, but they click on it. Like this would show up in the email, but yeah. when you click on it, it opens up YouTube. It doesn't yeah, yeah, play. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so in the email, it's an image. So right, right here, I can easily have an image. Like for example, this is a perfect example. Look, this is a real email, bro. I have click here to watch. I have watch here. And then I have the image. So, so this, like, could be, this could be this image. Right, look, like that. When you click on the image, it takes you straight to the page. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, in, in the BombBomb bomb case, you click on I think it, that's it exactly, YouTube. Yeah, I think that's, exa yeah that's, I think that's what they're doing in BombBomb. Bomb. It just looks like you can play it from the email. Yeah. So when yeah. you click on it, it just opens up another page. Yeah, yeah. So that's what, that's what happens here. You open up another page. But I'm telling you, the most important thing about all this is the fact that it's a page. Right. And I can track everyone who's landing on that page. And so with Facebook ads, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to mm -hmm. do it for that reason. So I'll add my pixel to the page and I'll, I'll, I'll track and create an audience of everyone who's landing on, on these pages. And it's like, dude, dude if your seller guide, whatever the heck you're talking about in that seller guide, mm -hmm. you can literally demonstrate on video yeah. in front of any property. Right. And if those became your emails, so the six emails or whatever you have in your sequence uh -huh. and, and in the subject line, in the subject line, Hey Jack, take a look at this video I just shot. Hey Jack, look at this video. Hey Jack, have you seen this video yet? Like in the subject line, that's where it has to be catchy. And whenever you put the word video, people tend to click on it. Yeah, so that's a tip for, for email subject lines, video, and, 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 and maybe even a question. Hey Jack, have you seen this video yet? Or Hey Jack, I just did this video. Check it out. Like little catchy ass subject lines like that will get your emails to be opened. And, and, and especially when it's video, it'll get people to watch it. And, and that, and that also allows you to not have to know, not have to, not have to write long, extensive text based emails. Cause that, right. that becomes challenging as well. Even for me, like having to write out a, like having to write out a long ass email. Mm -hmm. Like I don't always like that, but if I just kept it short and say, Hey, click here to watch the video. Like that's all people care about anyways, you know, right. is, is watching something. Now over here, I kind of went, went on and I, and I, and I wrote a little bit more than I, than I really normally would want to, but even this, that's not a lot of text. but, but in your case, what I'm saying is that you could have stopped, like you could stop with, if you have a video, like you can literally take out all of this mm -hmm. and just have these first two lines watch here. Yeah. Like, and, and people would open it up right away and watch your video, man. Dude. Yeah. And I would do that for every damn email. Yeah. Curb appeal, freaking whatever, renovating, like go to a property, dude, and demonstrate each freaking tip you're giving out in that email, in those emails. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, dude. That's, those are golden and, nuggets and, right and, there, and, man. And, yeah. and here's the thing that video. So yeah, the video can, can be on the page when you upload the video straight to Kartra. So you can come to Kartra and you can, you can upload that video. What you want to do though, since it's going to be on your cell phone, mm -hmm. you upload that video from your cell phone to, or, or you transfer it, I should say. You transfer it to your computer. That's step one. So you're taking it from your cell phone to your computer. Mm -hmm. And then from your computer, you upload it to Kartra. So you click on my videos, you click on the green one, and you just upload one video, you upload that video. Gotcha. That's it. And then, and then when you set up the page, you just simply in the editing, you choose Kartra video and you can, and then that video will be right here. Okay. But, um, what was I going to say? Damn it. What was I going to say? I just, I, I, I was going to say something else. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And here's, 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 here's the last part of this in that video. That, that could be a short video, man. It doesn't have to be a long video at all. That could be a one minute video. Mm -hmm. But, but the fact is that you're, it's visual, you're out on site and you're literally giving hands-on advice there's a property right there and you're, you're pointing out what the hell's wrong with that property. Right. Yeah. And so not only is that going to, going to completely change the game, but at the end of the video, you're going to always have a call to action. And Hey, by the way, guys, if you want more tips and tricks like this, if you want to jump on a call, I'd love to give you a free strategy call and just give you, you know, ins and outs of what we're really doing. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So in the video, you're telling them to schedule an appointment. Right. Dude. That's always the call to action at the end of that video. 
And, and, then, and then also you're saying, hey, and don't forget, don't forget to check my email tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're going to see what we, what we do when it comes to renovating your kitchen. Don't miss tomorrow's email. Talk to you then. So I'm always setting them up for the next email, and I'm always telling them to schedule a call. And always call next. Damn. Yeah, man. I need to start doing that ASAP. And, always and, and again, all this is just the tedious shit that you got to do in the beginning. Yeah, After right. this part is freaking well-oiled, I'm telling you, bro, it becomes a machine. Now you just yeah. focus on freaking running Facebook ads and, and capturing leads and filling this funnel. Right. You know, that's, that's all that's going to come down to after you got this whole back end part. Yeah, dude. The only thing that I'm kind of concerned about is like, you know, I, I'd like to get to a point where I'm, you know, I'm gathering a ton of leads. Mm -hmm. um, it just seems like I, I would need to incorporate some type of like CRM to keep track of all of those leads, right? No. Well, well, you no, I, I, don't, I really don't think you need to because that's what automations is all about. So, so as you, as you start to really get traction and start to fill up this, these funnels and start mm -hmm. to fill up your list, mm -hmm. then over here in communications, you set up automations. Right. So if this lead clicks on this, put them on that list. If they unsubscribe here, put them over here. So automations, if a lead subscribes to this list, then I unsubscribe them from this list. If gotcha. they subscribe to this list, then I unsubscribe them from this list. Okay. If, if they subscribe to this list, then I unsubscribe them from this list, this list, this list, and that sequence. Gotcha. So okay. based on whatever activity we want to track, it's set up through automations where you don't have to worry about that lead if you have all this set up. Okay. Because your CRM, what exactly, what else would, would, would a CRM really do? Or what would we really, what else would we need? Yeah, when man. It comes I'm, to nurturing the list. When it right. Comes to yeah. That, and that's all I'm really concerned about is just being able to nurture the list. And then, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, but if I'm getting phone numbers, then of course, you know, I'd like to maybe give them a phone call or maybe send them an, a one off email. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I need to know, like, who are the hotter leads? Like, who's the hotter leads? Who's the warmer leads? You know, then kind of who are the colder leads? Like, who's, who's really engaging with my emails and my pages and my links and stuff? You can, you can set all that up in automations and you can set all that up by setting up, by setting up new, by setting up new list. So, so for example, if a person, if they subscribe to this list and like, watch, look, I can go into the edit. So if they, if they, if the lead subscribes to this, this list, then subscribe them to a list, unsubscribe them from a list assign a tag, unassign a tag, subscribe to a sequence. Um, what else do we have? We have, uh, um, so, so based on whatever they do, uh -huh. give points. So there's your point uh -oh. system. Gotcha. Subtract points, grant access, revoke access, subscribe lead to a calendar. Um, there's your point system. And that shows uh -huh. in, the, in the lead. So when you click on their name and you open up their profile, it can it can show their points if you're giving right. giving points based on what they do, but um, it all comes down to, in my opinion, it all comes down to segmenting the leads. So mm -hmm. segmenting who's hot, who's not, who is you know who who's at the end of the funnel, who's not, like all these different things. I can I can create automations around, and I can I can tag them based on 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 whatever I'm tracking, and then and then I can add them to a specific list. So if they subscribe to this list and they actually click on my email and watch my video, tag them. And yeah. whoever has this tag, put them on and subscribe them to the hot list of the month. Right. And now, now I can go in and look at my list and I can look at hot list for June. Mm -hmm. And now all those leads are on that list because all those people clicked on my first email. Yeah. Gotcha, man. Yeah. That, that's kind of exactly what I was looking for, yeah. man. That and so like for right now, you know, I'm kind of still on the beginning stages of for of, sure, man, you know, it looks like it's a beast of a machine. I just got to learn, you know, how to yes. do these type of things. But yeah, that that's exactly what I was looking for, man. Yeah, dude, that that's all that all comes down to just creating creating multiple lists for whatever the heck you want to track that that's what you want to do first. So just come into my list, come into into my communications, click on list, and then and then just start adding whichever categories we're looking to to keep track of hot leads 
warm leads, people who clicked on my link, whatever, like create all these lists. And then, and then after that, then you can go into automations and then you can set up different automations. If they never opened up an email, then unsubscribe them. Or if they never open up an email, keep them on the list. Or if they open the email and click, put them on this list. Right. Yeah. So whatever the heck you're thinking, it would be in automations and it would be in by simply creating a list for that gotcha. okay. option or that category or that idea you're thinking of. Okay. Gotcha, man. Yeah, that, that makes sense for sure. Um, I was also going to ask you, man, does Kartra do any, does it have texting capabilities or no? Nah? Oh yeah. Heck yeah, bro. That's all in, in, in the sequences, but that's only if you're asking for the phone number up front. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So you know? if, right, you got to get the phone number first and then, yes. okay, cool. So if you, if you get the phone number first, then the same way you added, you, you clicked and dragged an email and now you park that email at the top, right? Like you did a few minutes ago. Right. The same way you did that is the same way you would drag phone number. Okay. So, and I think it's right below it as well to the left. So yeah, see right here. Uh, So you got to send SMS. Uh Uh-huh. So I can just click that, drag it over, uh-huh. drop it, and then boom. As long as I have that phone number, I can type out whatever the heck I want, and and that and that and that text would go out. Gotcha. Okay, man. That's really okay. cool, man. You can implement that, is... that for sure. Okay. That would cool. be cool. Like maybe maybe do that. You know, maybe do that right away. You right. Know, immediately. Hey, John. Just got your opt-in. I'm super fired up to connect with you. Stay in touch. Reach out to me if you need anything. This is Chris. Here's my direct number. Text me something short and sweet. You know what I mean? And by the way, check your emails. Cause I just sent you the PDF for your download or whatever, you know? Right. Damn. Yeah. Okay. That could be super powerful as well, man. So shoot, dude. it just comes down to, I mean, every, everyone wants a phone number. Like everyone wants a phone number and, and, and not everyone wants to give up a phone number right away. Right. You know, but that's why, that's why the retargeting is so important, man. Facebook ads, custom audiences, the pixel retargeting because as you continue to retarget people three ads later, four ads later, five ads later, and you're retargeting people who are engaging with your stuff. By that time you could start asking for phone number. Like people are going to start knowing who the heck you are. Right. But, but the very first ad going out to a cold market, no one knows you yet. I wouldn't ask for a phone number. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, so just, yeah, it just, it's just up to you. But, but at the same time, put phone number on every form. Just leave it optional. Just keep it optional. Yeah, yeah dude, that, that can't hurt. Right. You know? Okay. Well, dude, shit, man. No, man, this call was a blast, man. I fucking, I, I always yeah, learn, bro. I always learn quite a bit, man. When I, when I talk to you, dude, dude so. anytime, man, hit me up anytime. Um, and let's jump on another call, man. Let's jump yeah. on another call. Yeah. Let me, uh, you know, I'm going to implement everything that we've talked about so far, man. And you know, once I kind of get going, then yeah, definitely set up another call with you for sure. Yes, dude, for sure. And what I'm going to do, bro, is I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you this real, this real estate solar video. I'm going to, I'm going to send you a quick video that I want you to watch. Yeah, dude. Send Take it a over. look at it. Cause I'm partnering with a ton of, a ton of realtors all across the country, man. Because when you, and it's just, it's just, it's, it's just too, it's just too simple for you to not implement into your business. Like it's just too simple. Because when, when you go and sell a house, that homeowner, most likely nine out of 10 times, they're going to go solar. Like they're going to go solar. So if you can just refer them out and make, you know, five to 10 grand to do that, you might as well. Right. Yeah. You know, because okay. Texas is being lit up right now, man. Panels are going up in Texas for sure. Like I know that for a fact. So for you to just simply submit a deal and, and make that kind of money, it, it's not, it's not hard and it, it'd be leaving money on the table. If yeah, you're do it, for sure. You know? For sure. So watch that. Well, I'll email it to you. Just watch the video. Let me know if it makes sense and then just hit me up anytime, man. Okay. Um, yeah. Before I let you go, man, one more question, dude. Yes. Um, there's videos on Kartra. Like I know you mentioned there's like live trainings, like on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Where can I find that? Let me um, send it to you. It's this right here. All you do is register. Okay. So just register for this. In fact, I'll just, um, Facebook it to you. Okay. Yeah. So register for that. That's, that's for sure, man. That's for sure. A, a, a call that you want to jump on. 
Okay. Cool, and sometimes man. it's a little boring, but it's an hour long. Sometimes you're, it's a little boring because you're, you know, you're freaking on it and people are just asking questions and customer support. They're, you know, they're freaking, I mean, in, in a respectful way, they're freaking nerds, right? These computer <laughs> programmers, like these developers, like they're freaking nerds. Yeah. And, and that's what I love about them. They're smart ass people. Right. And so sticking it in and just, and just, and just being patient while they're walking, while they're probably talking slow most of the time. Right. It's still worth it. Like it's still worth it. You'll still learn. You'll still learn something. That's where I learned everything from. Okay. It's just cool, plugging man. into these calls every week. And yeah, even if I'll you can't make the live one, they send you a replay. Oh, nice. As long as you're registered, you know, so I would, I would for sure delegate time to, to get on those calls. If you can't get on it live, but I would for sure delegate time to at least watch the recording. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm registering right now, dude, but for sure, yeah, that, I think that'll help me out quite a bit. Sounds good, bro. Sounds good. Well, shit, man, let's get it cracking and hit me up anytime. All right, man. Hey, best of luck later, man. Yes, sir, man. Welcome I appreciate your it, son. Yes sir. yes, sir. Thank you. All right, man. man. Talk okay. to you later. Later. Bye. All right, bye.